hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Hey. See, I really been popping my shit on a whole nother level. You playing, get sent to the devil. These bitches been on me. I swear they keep calling my phone. I'm like, hold on, let me check the skills. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on out there, man? I hope all is well with everybody. Thank you for watching this content. Staying in tune with myself and Showtime SP and everything that we got going on. Obviously, to stay in tune with the content, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all of that and all of that and all of that. Uh, I got a couple of things I want to talk about today, you know what I'm saying? There's a couple subjects, Summer Madness is coming, Max Out is coming, there's a few other things that are going on, and Battle Rap, for some reason, just never, never stops. It's always another story, another story, another story, and things like that. But, before we get started, shout out to the sponsors, E-Win Racing. If you want to get a chair like this, or like the one my man Showtime SP sits in, they're available on ewinracing.com. They adjust, you know what I'm saying? They go up, they go down, they got different levels on them. You can hit the handles, they got back support, lumbar support, so when you're playing your games, you can get your games played at a high level. The chairs are very comfortable, and like I said, if you would like one, there's a 20% off code rice gang that you use on their website in order to get them you know what i'm saying so salute to our partners our sponsors and all the other sponsors out there but yeah these chairs are pretty dope y'all know the chairs that i used to sit on before we don't need to go back there but these right here are very comfortable you know what i'm saying so i try to keep mine at a high level you know what i'm saying oh still going up you know what i'm saying i try to keep it at a high level so i stay comfortable and I oh, hold on nabi feel the leather bro the leather's so soft so, 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 <laughs> bitch i go so <laughs> So, he went, then he went, go get yourself one, bitch, that nigga. Check them out. So, yeah. K Shine, K Shine. So, K Shine, who has been in the news for quite some time, you know what I'm saying? His notable going back and forth with Smack, things like that, not agreeing to the situation, has tweeted that he's free. K Shine, free. You know what I mean? So, I don't know what that comes about or when we're going to actually see him, but I know he had a very public spat with URL recently, you know what I'm saying, as far as him being not booked on cards and his smack saying that he owes him money. But there's like a, a crazy middle ground because I gave a pretty good analogy yesterday or when I was talking to my man Showtime SP and I said, if you hire a contractor to come fix your roof, right? And they say the roof costs $10,000, right? And then you give them 5,000 up front or you give them the whole 10, you know what I'm saying? In good faith that the job's gonna get done. Uh, let's say some things happen, uh, you know, guy has to have a funeral for his mom, and then, uh, another unfortunate situation happens, and then whatever the case may be. What kind of shit is here? <laughs> if six or seven months go by, you still want your roof fixed. Like, it ain't about, like, I gave you the money, I want the roof fixed. Period. Like, you can fix my roof, or we can take it how we do it. With Sean, he's looking at it like, yo, I was there to fix your roof. I came on this date, I came on that date. This didn't happen, that didn't happen. You didn't have no electricity when I went to go. So there's so many different variables and I'm not oblivious. I know this is the year that URL is not doing the greatest, whatever the case may be. And I see all of the polls out there with who's in first, who's in second, but I will look at it like this. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kayshawn, whether he's on URL or not on URL. If he's on there, he helps the platform, regardless of what anyone says. You can say what you want, but when you break down every round that I've sketched out, k -Shine has a lot of classic battles on URL. k -Shine has a lot of hits. k -Shine is one of them monsters. Regardless of when you see him, if he's on that stage, give him that is he dead cake chopper. Shooping out bread sticks. Like, who don't want to see k -Shine on a URL stage? So, whether they worked it out or not, I don't know, but I would like to see him. We just seen him in Sincere Cypher. Salute to Sincere Cypher. is uh, doing crazy views. I think it's hit over 300,000 in a couple days, but they had a lot of people on there. Lo Lux was on there, T-Rex was on there, Jay Mills was on there, John John Adam was on there. And if I forgot anybody, you know what I'm saying, salute to them too, and K-Shawn obviously, but K-Shawn went crazy on there. So to see the energy and the hunger that he displays, 
it was probably going to be good to see back in the ring again. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of people who want to see him here, who want to see him there, but we just want to see him in general. We just want to see K-Shine. Like, the thing is, the fans, I'm just speaking from the fans right now because I speak to fans every day. They in my DM. I see them on the street, see them in the grocery store, no matter where you go. Fans don't care about politics. They do not care about this league, that league. This battle got blocked. They couldn't do this over there. This person got pulled off of this card and whooped it. They don't care. We're here to say what we see. Who would I be to not say what I see? People only want to see battles, you know? And that's where a lot of the culture at times got a little fucked up with all of the politics going on. You can't battle over here. You can't battle over here. You really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. Can't do this. You owe me money for that. They owe me money for this. And it only takes away from the viewership perspective. So I would like to see K-Shine back, regardless of the league. You know me, I don't care. Go where you get paid. I was one of the ones that was like, I, I didn't mind. I mean, easy to block Captain Witt in battle with Hitman Hollow. That's a payday that you're not going to get anywhere. So I was talking to him, and I want to switch it um, real quick. Uh, you know, and that's the K-Shine side. So if he's back, I would love to see him back. Hitman Holla uh, is the biggest draw in battle rap. I just learned that. I was having a conversation with ARP, right? Spoke about, tell me that Hitman is not the biggest battle rap in the world. I got the numbers. I told Vodafly on the phone the other day, man. I said, you see this big battle rapper right here that we talk about that had a recent pay-per-view? I said, Hitman and Bill Collective did more pay-per-views than that one. And Hitman and Bill Collective was how many years ago? That's the Hitman effect. I got the numbers. I, I could really, you know what I'm saying? I got the real tangible shit, not speculation. And uh, salute to everything that he's got going on with Max Out and things like that, you know what I'm saying? I got his number. I'm sorry, I got his number. But anyway, um, Hitman Holla is the biggest draw in battle rap. I did not know that. I mean, I kind of knew because I thought, you know, Cassidy does big numbers, Murray Mook does the big numbers, Calicos, and all those top, top tier guys. But Hitman Holla, <laughs> his draw potential is crazy. Uh, I was told that no matter what battle Hitman Holla has ever been in, in the last, like, whether it be 10 years or since he's got to the super levels, the league hasn't made it back. You out your motherfucking mind. He has not. No, listen to what I'm saying. No matter where he battles, he brings back the chicken. The revenue is made. There's no problem. I was told, I had named, I said, so we was comparing battles, right? And I was like, yo, uh, yo, what about uh, when he battled this person? Did you do better when he battled this person, which was a big, big battle? And then we just said uh, him versus Bill Collective. You know what I'm saying? Bill Collective's on a small card. You know what I'm saying? Small room. I used the Tommy to get the white like the Green Ranger. You know what I'm saying? Um, they told me that the small room with Bill Collective made more money than Hitman in a bigger battle. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? So, I mean, no, 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 not Hitman in a bigger battle. Hitman in a small room made more money than legendary guys in a big room or in a bigger setting in a bigger stage. People that we would be like, no way. And I don't really want to go, you know, putting person's name on and this, that, and the third because then it's going to look like, oh, man, you hating, you hating, hating. So I got to be mindful of the things that I say. So basically, Hitman Holla is the biggest draw in battle rap. Him versus Ill Will, even though Ill Will is not the super draw, him coming down to that level to battle him in a small room is going to equal numbers. Um, I heard ARP also talk about uh, the swamp situation yesterday and i must say salute to him it's very commendable what he said he could have easily went the route of shitting on swamp you know what i'm saying he could have easily done it yo you ain't coming over here yada 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 he could have done that but he didn't what he said was you know when you keep your leverage and you don't pledge allegiance to one side and say f them and f everything that they got going on no matter what the league is whether it be rbe uh king of the dot chrome 23 the battlers don't lose their leverage. Shout out to Chris Unbiased because I heard uh, ARP talking about a topic that he had made. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one that's not going to give props to where I heard it from. But I think it's very true. When you pigeonhole yourself to one side, like, yo, this is me. I'm waving the flag. Oh, yeah, bow, bow. I'm at the ops. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. Star Wars fighting against other leagues. It doesn't help you in the long run because what happens is when they, you know, they say it's all good till it ain't all good. So when they don't fuck with you no more or when you start losing or whatever the case may be, that's not as advantageous to them as it is to you. Now it's you don't you don't you don't put yourself here. 
gang and wave your flag and show your masters, hey, guys, I'm down for you. Take care of me. Book me. Book me because I'm dissing them for you. Get off your knee pads. You're not a man or a woman when you do that to me. Because it's like if it's only motivated by that, if you got no occurrence with this man or with that company, you got no issue, and you're just simply picking up the energy of what you think, and you even going as far as trying to use street terminology, calling niggas your ops. He's a fucking clown to me. You know what I'm saying? F this person, I'm not rocking with that side, yada, yada, yada. Let's take an uh, MC, for instance, like Mike P. No disrespect to Mike P. Salute to everything he does. He's a dope MC. He's been doing this for a while. He sided himself so much with URL that if URL wasn't to fuck with him no more, he couldn't go to RE. There's leagues that he's cut his legs from under. Now, I'm not saying that's anything that he wants to do because he's voc vocally said he don't want to do it. But I just think that sometimes as MC, as an MC, having your options open is a good thing. I mean, even if you don't want to use them, I would like to have credit. I have credit cards that I don't use, but I have the credit. If I need to use it, if I need to use it, it's there. But you don't want to buy everything on credit because it's gonna take you forever to pay that shit off. But when needed, always good to have some leverage. You know what I'm saying? Averb has just shown everybody what leverage does. He pulled a leverage play. Literally pulled a leverage play. He was on, everybody was talking about him battling Swamp all summer. That was the biggest draw. That was gonna be one of the main battles of Summer Madness. Everybody was talking about that joint. Everybody, to the point where Swamp even jumped off of Easy's card to get on there. They take too long, they say Verb is asking for too much money, but there's really not a too much money price for Verb because at the end of the day, he's gonna promote, he's gonna do spaces, he's gonna have people talking, he's gonna go live, he's gonna, this nigga blogs and be on YouTube and Twitter and spaces more than fucking bloggers do. I wake up and he's already started. I tweeted earlier, Verb, it's not even nine o'clock in the morning. I was he got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. Jim, this morning, he's already wilding on 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 a on a war. This morning, like I'm like, bro, I ain't even get to work out yet. I ain't even have breakfast, and he's boom, 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 boom. But that just shows you the level of consistency, whether you like him or don't. He's the super ultimate villain, and he's going to be able to draw a crowd. You got Hitman there, you got uh, Verb there, you got uh, uh, no, I can't do that. I got my bad damn. damn. But but you get what I'm saying, right? You you. Get what I'm saying. I'm trying to give it to you without giving it to you. What you doing, B? Where you from? What block you from? You from over here? I know you ain't from over here. I ain't never seen you from. I ain't never seen you over here. So when I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the store. When I come back, if you still out here, you better not be selling nothing. You better not. You selling something over here? Yo, yo, let's go. Come on, let's highlight this nigga real quick. We're gonna deal with him in a second. But anyway, so yeah, he's a huge draw and he brings in views. <laughs> Huge draw, brings in views, cool with Hitman, it all makes sense. So uh, let's keep it going, you know what I'm saying? Um, Chef Trez, Chef Trez. Shout out to Chef Trez and all that he's got going on. URL, a quick way to help with some of the fans and help with some of the draw is to get Chef Trez on a card, Summer Madness. Swamp is right here, Swamp don't got a battle. He said he don't got a battle, I don't know. He might have Miss Hustle in the pocket already. I don't fucking know. But there's a lot of fans that want to see Trez. You don't have a lot of stars, you need stars, you need people that's gonna perform at a high level and be consistent. Chef Trez don't choke, Chef Trez been good in all his battles this year. Uh, Having like all these other people on stage, don't see them online, I'm not battling Trez, just keep your days, but what, what about when you got beat by the way? Free sir, but he you so bad, your name might be on this case, you gotta stand this way. I mean, some of them, to me, didn't have huge impact, like him versus John John. I thought that would have been a way bigger impact, but the battle just came and it was like, eh, okay. But that's both sides. I think it was probably the wrong setting and everything. It was a big room, a bigger room. I don't know, that battle just wasn't that great. Him versus Twerk, another battle. I thought it would have been bigger. It was just a battle. Um, him versus Authentic, I think he did his thing in that battle. Uh, he really got crazy. Him versus Show Off, he got crazy in that battle. So Chef Trez has had a lot of battles this year. I feel like, and I feel like that um, uh, uh, him getting rewarded for what he's done should mean a lot. You know what I'm saying? I just, big niggas was on my on our break lights the other day because he wasn't part of the top 10. Why do I need to see the same battles get re-released a week later on an app that I'm paying $8 for? It's not like 
I'm not getting no barbershop battles. I'm not getting no band battles. I'm not really getting no exclusives. I mean, you know, they got a couple podcasts and shit on there. That's cool too, but it's not for me. Like what I, and even, and I recap more battles than most people. But to me to have that, I don't think it was very advantageous for me. So I don't have it currently. Now, like I said, you want me to get it back, make me get it back. If there's some shit on there that I need to see, I'm gonna get it. But if there's nothing, I, I love the Netflix joint that they did with, uh, Saga and Luke Castro and all them. Those joints was dope. More stuff like that. More, more, more dope content. But if it's, I'm paying to see the same battles that I just watched this weekend get released during the week, I'm, I'm no hate. I'm not hating. I'm just calling it like it is. But that YouTube is very, very, very important. People say YouTube is not important. Are you crazy? That's the biggest platform. There's no platform that's going to ever, 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 not right now, that's going to overthrow YouTube. It's free, it's readily available. That's why we grew to love them. That's why we grew to love all of these leagues. We should have a choice. Like if I wanna pay for something else, we pay for the pay-per-views, we pay to see this, we pay, we'll pay, we will pay. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, if there's nothing, not even a sampler, there's nothing available. And then it's like, you know, every now and then they'll throw a little one around out there or they'll throw a little teaser. It's consistency though. The new guys, even with the new guys, I know they feel like, oh, I hate them or whatever the case may be. I don't, it's not personal. I don't know these niggas. I don't hate them. But they should be seen. They should be seen. There were these one round battles and all the stuff that they had, put their stuff out. But they can't because I'm, I'm being told that they don't own the broadcasting rights. They cannot put it out anymore. They embroiled in a lawsuit that costs a lot of money. You know, it is what it is. And that's going to go one way or the other. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I do think an MC like Chef Trez is deserving uh and there's more there's more bigger names that's going to battle on the other card you know what i'm saying there's bigger names that that's not the the battles that you heard because i'm looking at the card right now there's like there's like a two three more four five six bigger names or battles that's going to battle on the other card you know we want summer man trust me no matter what nobody says on these apps, on Twitter, on YouTube, we want Summer Madness to do good. Why the fuck you don't want it to do good? Summer Madness is a staple. I want it to do good. So we got some shit to recap. I want a, another Easy versus Chess. Do I see another Easy versus Chess? Mm, there's not really one out there. But at the same time, Easy versus Chess is a battle that the fans pushed for, that the bloggers, that the media, that everybody pushed for. People was calling to see him on, the, on Summer Madness. They were calling, they wanted to see him. Yo, we gotta see him. Yo, we have to see it. And then it got put on there. You know what I'm saying? And it's the best battle, probably the best battle on the app. Easy versus Chess is probably the best battle on the URL app. Or one of the best. One of them. You know what I'm saying? If it was top three, it's definitely up there. Especially with the reactions and all of that. Um, but we'll see where it goes. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content. But I definitely think that Chef Trez should be on Summer Madness. And if nobody else versus Swamp, why not? It's a South South thing. I know he said, yo, if me and if me and Swamp is on it and we not headlining that no no no. <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. what you mean headline? Oh, what you mean? What the fuck you mean headline? I ain't going that far. I wanna see you in the goddamn car. I ain't say go headline and shit. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this shit, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you respect the handle. Gang gang.